In this video, what I will be doing is I will be going over a small omission that I made, um, or at least a bit more of an elaboration of something that I went over a little bit too quickly. Now, what it is is the UV projection tool. It's got a number of settings here uh, under automatic and manual that I'm able to off not offset but align my uh, mapping method, whether it be planar, uh, you know, cylindrical or spherical to a custom plane or angle. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into this model. I'm going to select uh, a small piece of his arm. I'm going to grow the selection by holding uh, shift and up and then doing this. Now once I have the arm selected, I'm going to convert the selection, the edge selection all the way to polygon. So I'm just going to left click or alt left click on polygons to convert the selection. I'm going to cut the arm out. I'm going to create a new uh, you know, item and paste that uh, arm into there. So now that we have this, what I can do is I can go into shader, I can assign a material to this object, add an image map, and uh, you know we get uh, something like this, which is not exactly what I want yet, but uh, you know it is what it is for now. Now, what I'm going to do in particular with this object is I'm going to go into the UV projection tool. I'm going to go to manual. I'm going to left click. And what we get is something like this. Now, this UV map is not exactly what I want. But then again, not, uh, this map right here, I think it's using the wrong uh, mapping. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to uh, no, 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 texture locator. I'm going to make sure that uh, in this texture locator, if I go to texture uh, locator here, once I select it, I go to the properties and texture locator. I make sure that my projection type is not cubic, but rather UV map. And of course, once you select UV map, you have to select exactly which one uh, you want to use. So in this case, I want to use map one. So I'm going to go back to items. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the UV projection again, apply it, and this time, the reason why the, uh, you know this UV map looks bad right now is because, of course, the cylindrical UV mapping is aligned to the y-axis, which is on the vertical here, and of course the cylinder is uh, you know not aligned to this angle here. So I'm going to go to manual, and I'm going to start rotating. The UVs to get something like this. Now, this gives me a pretty good result, which uh, you know it's not bad. But the one thing I um, like, let's just say, if you have a more elaborate object and you can't get it just right, like let's just say you have something like a uh, like this, where a few of your polygons are off. Well, it's very simple. I mean, all you have to do is just drop the uh, tool, select a few polygons that are off. Make sure when you move, when you go into the move tool, your tear off option is on. You move the polygons over. And sometimes you might get lucky and the tool will automatically snap your result to the actual surface. And you end up with something like this. Now, of course, what you want to do from here is just use the UV relax tool. Pin, left click pin on the... Uh, now some parts of the model, make sure your boundaries, uh, lock boundaries off. And all you really want to do is just, again, just grab these points, move them around until, of course, you've kind of stabilized the overall surface. And of course, if, you, if you're having a hard time doing that, sometimes you might have to create some new points around like that. Now, stabilizing the sur surface of UV sometimes is a bit tricky and you know and challenging but well not really challenging just kind of annoying really sometimes but if you know once you get to the, a point like this it's not bad it's okay and of course the next step what you could do is you could just select some of these ed like boundary uh, edges and what you could do is you could just very simply align them like that you know should you want to And of course, now that that's done, you know, you go right back to relax. And if you ever get anything like this, which of course, you know, has destroyed your 
um, you know, your edges, your boundary edges that are just fixed, you know, this tool is still active, so you can very easily just press lock boundary and it'll go snap itself right back to this. And, you know, you can go back to increasing your iterations to give you a relaxed result. And this isn't bad. The only thing I think I might have to do is I might have to shrink or scale down the overall result or actually increase the scale of it to compress some of these squares down. But the overall result is actually not too bad. So, you know, with that said, I think I'm just, uh, I think this lesson is done. And, um, you know, good luck. Cheers.